Hello and welcome to Solo Cosebone. Today arrived this wonderful brick of tea. This is a poor cake because this tea is poor, but it's different because this is Sheng quality poor. This means that the fermentation and oxidation process isn't fast in autoclave, but with a natural process. In fact, this is Sheng quality and the other is a Shu. This tablet is from 2014. And I don't know what to expect because I didn't taste uh, Sheng before. I tasted uh, too many Shu, but I really don't know the Sheng quality, so I must try them out with you. First thing first, let's unwrap uh, this uh, package. Uh, let's see how it's made. Uh, this is a really well made uh, package. Uh, usually they don't wrap it in plastic. ORT written on the package. The firm is Jinshun Hao. And I'm already sniffing some interesting smell. Let's try to open it without destroy the package because there is a sticker here. Wow, it's amazing. Look how wonderful colors it has respect the classical shoe. Okay, I'm breaking the envelope. Very interesting um, smell. Uh, let's take uh, the stick and uh, break uh, the cake. As you can see, it is uh, really easy to crumble. It's already too much. The sensation is that uh, the leaves uh, are uh, entire and not uh, broken and uh, dustier. Uh, let's fill up uh, the Gaiwan with uh, some of these uh, leaves. Uh, this is one of my favorite uh, Gaiwan, by the way. Uh, maybe we talk about it uh, next time. Okay, it should be enough. Uh, here you are, uh, the leaves uh, inside the Gaiwan. Uh, let's try to sniff uh, the odors. Okay, dry other flowers, uh, less intense, uh, respect uh, the shoe, a little bit dustier, but uh, in general uh, sweet uh, smells, and uh, also something uh, soft, uh, creamy, honey, I feel honey. Okay, the smell I was thinking about uh, was uh, honey, incredible. I'm really curious. Let's warm up the water. With the boiling water, I'm doing the washing procedure. It lasts up to 10 seconds. What I can immediately notice is that the color of this shang is yellow and not red, but I expected it. Wow. I am feeling uh, hops, cooked vegetables, but uh, a little bit. And this uh, honey that uh, is coming out, a light bitterness. Maybe it's because uh, the hop smells. And if you ever tried uh, hop, and I can recognize it because uh, I made uh, beer at home for a long time. Sweet, uh, hoppy, really interesting. So let's make uh, the first infusion. Let's try with uh, 20 seconds, uh, because it seems uh, a little less strong, uh, respect our shoes. 20 seconds should be enough uh, for now, because I don't want it uh, to become too bitter, and we can increase it uh, next time. Let's continue with uh, the odors. There is uh, this uh, strange uh, smell that I call hoppy, but uh, it's something more. It's uh, really something sweet, uh, honey, candy and uh, forest. That fermented uh, sensation, uh, but uh, it's uh, really less uh, strong, respect the shoe. I can stay here all the day long to sniff it, because uh, it's uh, really good. As you can see, the color that uh, came out uh, from the liquor is uh, this one. Put it in the cup. This is the right quantity. It's a beautiful yellowish uh, 
and let's try to smell it. As usual, the liquid is a less strong respect of the leaves. A clean sensation, still that sweet taste, but let's try in the mouth now. I am astonished because uh, it is uh, really bitter, very, very strong. But what I can perceive uh, immediately is uh, this uh, dryness uh, and this uh, bitter that uh, I feel on the tongue. Instead, uh, on the palate, uh, I can feel that uh, candy, honey, and it's uh, really strong and uh, persistent. Uh, it's a, a sensation, very strong in bitterness, uh, so it uh, should, uh, it probably has a lot of caffeine and uh, catechins. It could be used for uh, a breakfast tea for uh, waking up. Maybe not uh, in uh, the evening because uh, with uh, these uh, strong uh, catechins and uh, caffeine, it could be too exciting uh, and this uh, sensation of uh, honey and uh, bitter uh, expands uh, through all the mouth and I'm feeling that uh, sensation of uh, tannins, uh, that uh, dryness uh, that you feel uh, on the tongue, the sweets uh, that uh, pervade uh, the mouth uh, very round uh, but in the meantime uh, this uh, dryness uh, that blocks uh, it all, really pleasuring. A little bit of uh, that uh, cooked vegetables, uh, like uh, artichoke, uh, but still bitter, bitter vegetables uh, or bitter uh, roots. Uh, if you like, uh, I made uh, a video about uh, bitter roots. Uh, Madness, I should buy them again. Let's try with a second infusion. I think that 15-20 seconds should be enough. Maybe I can try also 10 seconds because the taste is really consistent and important. Now I'm 15 seconds. I don't want to exaggerate because I don't want to have too much bitterness inside my tea. I can already say that uh, it's a bomb, really good. I can recommend it, uh, obviously no one uh, pay me for uh, say this thing. I'll leave the link uh, down here in the description uh, to the firm and where I bought it. Okay, same smells, more sweet and a little less uh, that uh, bitter hoppy, but there is uh, wonderful, I love it. Let's try the test of the second infusion, the smells uh, are still there. Ah, it's uh, this uh, bitter is uh, it's really a madness, uh, very strong, but it's not annoying. It's something that you feel. Maybe you must uh, prepare uh, for it, but it's really, really pleasuring. Maybe I lowering uh, the infusion time to ten seconds because it's really, really strong. Madness, uh, madness. Uh, let's try with a third uh, fast uh, infusion. Ten seconds from now. You know, it remembers me also Sencha tea because uh, Sencha tea is uh, very bitter, very strong, and uh, it remembers me that uh, kind of tea. Okay, I didn't make uh, a video about uh, Sencha tea for now, but uh, I'm uh, still feeling uh, that uh, sensation. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, the same uh, smells. Uh, obviously, the third infusion uh, means it's lighter, but you can uh, still feel them. It means that uh, the quality of this tea is uh, very high. And the being it is so strong, uh, and I'm ready to the five, uh, six uh, cups uh, because I don't drink uh, it uh, all. Uh, I think that uh, one infusion uh, can last uh, for uh, all the morning, one uh, in the evening uh, after meal, and the rest you can use uh, the day after. Obviously, you don't have to change uh, every day the tea leaves. What a bomb! A bomb! 
Mamma mia. And if you like uh, this video, please leave a thumb up, subscribe to the channel and activate the bell so you won't miss any content like this and help the channel to grow. I can really recommend you this tea because uh, it's uh, very interesting and strong and uh, the taste is uh, sweet. I still feel the bitterness and less sweet with this uh, last infusion. Probably the leaves uh, are opened, uh, completely opened. I wanted to show you that uh, there are uh, leaves uh, inside this uh, tea and uh, some uh, branches, uh, but uh, it's okay. Stronger and stronger the bitterness. Uh, if you listen to me, maybe you should uh, lowering the time of the infusion or the water temperature because uh, these uh, two factors uh, are important uh, for uh, extract uh, all the substances from uh, the tea. Strong, it's uh, really strong and you can uh, feel uh, clearly this uh, fermented. The bitter is uh, very, very hard. The sweet notes uh, that I felt uh, before, almost uh, completely gone. I can feel the sweet, but uh, the bitter is uh, so strong, uh, is uh, covering up uh, every other uh, flavors. I'm curious uh, to try these uh, in uh, other infusions. Uh, try more than uh, three infusion, uh, discovering uh, if uh, this uh, bitterness uh, lowering in time. But uh, three infusion is enough uh, to do the tastings. It's all for today. Thank you for staying with me and see you in the next exciting video. Ciao.